ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಹೊಸ್ಕೇರಿ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಕ್ಕ ಮಹಾದೇವಿ ವುಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕವರ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಎಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಹೆವಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಫ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೀವೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫನ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸಸ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅದರ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಇಮೇಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಎಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ವೆರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಡ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೀ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಟ್ಯಾಮಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಕ್ವಾಟಿಕ್ ಎಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ಮರೈನ್ ಎಕೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸಾಲ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಏರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಏರ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಮೊನಾಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸಲ್ಫರ್ ಡೈಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಓಜೋನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಓ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ವೊಲಟಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಲೆಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಿ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏರ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಟೀಗ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಹೆಡೇಕ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾರೇಟ್ರಿ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ವೆಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಕಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಕಾಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ನೌಝಿಯಾ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಇರಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ವೊಲಟೈಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿ ರೆಫರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಅ ದ ಸ್ಮೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅರೋಮಾ ಆರ್ ದ ಫ್ರಾಗ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ವೊಲಟೈಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಎಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದ ಬಯೋಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾ ವೈರಸಸ್ ಫಂಗಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೋಝೋನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ರೆಡ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಕಂಟ್ಯಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಪೆಸ್ಟಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫಂಗಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಫಂಗಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್
in the fresh water ecosystem. Pollution can decrease the water quality. Pollutants like oil, pesticides, fertilizers, heavy metals like arsenic, mercury, lead and other radioactive waste can contaminate uh, water bodies like river, lake, groundwater and ocean harming the health of human and also other species that live in these ecosystems. Additionally, power plants that are basically using fossil fuels <coughs> uh, cool their cooling systems by removing fresh water from the lake and river and these cooling systems, this water gets heated up and eventually they heat the uh, water ecosystem, the rivers, the lakes and the organisms that are living in these ecosystem, they get affected. There is also a possibility that they can be decreasing in the availability of the uh, availability and the quality of food. Pollutants such as heavy metals, pest, uh, pesticides and industrial coolants can absorb, uh, can be absorbed by the organism especially the plants which eventually get concentrated in the tissue of the plants and all and animals. These pollutants can be concentrated and <coughs> the, the predators when they feed on these concentrated tissues, they carry these pollutants in their body. This process is called a biological magnification. High concentration of pollutants in food can harm human health and other species and in regions polluted and the people uh, may be advised to, con to avoid consuming certain organisms because uh, they can contain contamination or the pollutants. Increasing the amount of chemical nutrients in soil or water, especially nitrogen and phosphorus are used as fertilizers. When we add them for the improvement of crop, they eventually get washed out and they reach the uh, aquatic ecosystem where the algal uh, organ algal uh, growth will be increased whereby the oxygen is taken up by the algae and all other organisms uh, growth will be affected because of this. Destroying the ozone layer, human made chemical which was developed in 1960 which is called chlorofluorocarbons CFCs. This has the potential to destroy ozone. Ozone is a protective layer that protects uh, uh, the earth from the harmful radiations released from the sun. CFCs are used in various products, See, chlorofluorocarbons are used in air conditioners, aerosol sprays, cans and also <coughs> the strifoams, manufacturing of foams or sponge. In 1986, over 70 countries signed the Montreal Protocol to reduce the CFC production. The global cooperation, cooperation and action have allowed the amount of stratospheric ozone to build back the ozone layer. Pollutants affect the life cycle of various organisms. For example, chemicals that are used to make plastic flexible called plasticizers such as bisphenol A and phthalates leach out of plastics over time. Now these chemicals have the mimic, they mimic hormones of you know human body affecting the endocrine system of human. This can directly affect the reproduction and growth in human and also in other organisms. World is becoming polluted day by day. These harmful pollutants are responsible for this problem which may cause due to human activities. Pollutants are substances or materials that impact the environment and the living organisms, thereby hampering the quality of life. There are various types of pollutants that we uh, observe in the environment which have negative impact on the life of human and animals. Few of them we are going to discuss here. Water pollutions, water pollutants, water is greatly polluted these days and the harmful pollutants are present and it is causing this. The runoff from the industry, the water that comes out of the industry, agricultural feeds and even urban area contribute to the water pollution largely. For instance, industrial waste consists toxic contaminants which hamper the quality of water. Moreover, these pollutants can cause the growth of algae, 
however choking the growth of other organisms. This can pose threat to lives in the ecosystem, the other organisms that are living in the ecosystem and also human. Other than that, we have the trash which ends up to the water due to improper disposal. For instance, the plastic bags, the bottles, more collect in water causing death of aquatic animals. This is the imaging which shows the pollution of water where you can see various types of pollutants, contaminants that has affected the fresh water. This will eventually cause the health hazards in animals, in the fish and also human who consume them. Soil pollutants. Soil also has a lot of pollutants which make it very tough for the soil to remain fertile. Fertile cell is very essential for the growth of the plants. Again we have the industrial sources contributing to it. Moreover, there is no proper disposal of toxic chemicals, toxic chemical materials, they end up landing in the soil. Moreover, some of the common examples of soil pollutions or contaminants are asbestos, lead, pesticides and herbicides that can be overdosed to human due to repeated consumption of plants that are grown in a contaminated soil. Thus, there is an immediate need to manage hazardous pollutants so that we can be free from soil pollution. Here you can see a large dump, dumping of waste material, human waste, industrial waste, agricultural waste, they eventually affect the soil quality. Air pollution. Air pollutants, the air we breathe these days is heavily polluted more than ever. One of the major, major contaminants of air is due to the burning of fossil fuels that the vehicles we see around are burning fossil fuels which release particulate matter, which release carbon dioxide, monoxide into the atmosphere that contaminates the air. This happens due to factory emission and also use of automobiles. When one burns fossil fuels, smog which is the combination of smoke plus fog gets formed as well as a thick layer containing particulate matter which encloses large zones in it. Furthermore, air pollution contributes majorly to the respiratory problem including lung cancer, bronchitis, asthma and other lung diseases. Other than that, the air contains contaminants like nitrogen and sulphur dioxide which can cause acid rain which I mentioned earlier. These acid rains affect the forest negatively. Furthermore, it also degrades quality of the monuments, the other human made buildings. Here is how the massive amount of air pollutants are released into the atmosphere causing the air to get contaminated. We also have another interesting pollutant which is air pollution. Air pollution is also a kind of pollution which needs to be emphasized. Now, it basically means that lot of light is present in any area. This is generally happens in the urban or densely populated area. The light contaminates and prevents the human from seeing various features of the sky at night. It also obstructs the activities of uh, night animals, nocturnal animals and also migration of birds which are totally dependent on the light projections. This is how the light, massive amount of light which interfere with the clarity of the sky. Noise pollution. Noise pollution is on the rise, especially in urban areas. Generally, human and other activities make noise pollution. These noise pollutions are so loud that they can disrupt uh, the quality of quality and also be can be threatening to the life of human and uh, organisms, including birds. The noise that get generated from the horns of the automobile loudspeakers, crackers, electrical appliances and many more 
they lead to production of noise that can pollute the 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 noise frequencies which various animals use the sound frequencies for their migration whales and dolphins are totally dependent on sound frequencies so this noise pollution can affect their migration and also some of the nesting birds their migration gets affected due to noise pollution air pollution is a major problem from since a, rec a recent decade which has a serious toxicological impact on human health and environment here we are going to explore how the contaminants that are present in the air affect human body the sources of pollution vary from cigarettes and natural sources such as volcanic activities they release a large volume of emission of gases into the atmosphere the automobiles and also industrial activities are the contributing factors long term effects which are also called chronic exposures or chronic effects of air pollution on the onset of disease they can cause respiratory infections or inflammation or cardiovascular dysfunction cancer these are widely accepted effects of the air pollution air pollution is linked to millions of morbidity and mortality in the in the globe annually a recent study has revealed the association between male infertility and air pollution about 4.3 million people die from household air pollution and 7.3.7 million from ambient air pollution most of whom 3.3 and 2.6 are respectively they live in asia here is a image representing the impact of air pollution on human health sulfur dioxide can affect headache and cause anxiety sulfur dioxide has a direct effect on the central nervous system whereas ozone the particulate matter the nitrogen dioxide and the benzopyrin they can cause irritation of nose eyes throat and also lead to breathing problem nitrogen dioxide particulate matter and benzopyrin they can cause inflammation and infection in the lungs they can cause asthma and affect the normal lung function chronic obstructive pulmonary heart disease is caused by particulate matters especially in the smoke released by the automobiles lung cancer is caused by the particulate matter and benzopyrin sulfur dioxide ozone and o3 is representing ozone here and particulate matter causes cardiovascular disease nitrogen dioxide can cause impact the can affect injure liver spleen and blood particulate matter can also affect the reproductive systems in human and animals both short term exposure which is called acute exposure and long term exposure which is called chronic exposure to the air pollution can lead to a wide range of diseases including stroke chronic obstructive pulmonary disease trachea bronchus and lung cancers aggravated asthma and lower respiratory infection who world health organization provides evidence of links between exposure of air to type 2 diabetes obesity systematic uh, systemic inflammation alzheimer's disease and dementia international agency for research on cancer has classified air pollution in particularly the particulate matter of 2.5 micron can lead can cause cancer especially the lung cancer a recent global review found that chronic exposure can affect very every organ of human body complicating uh, the existing health condition children and adolescents are particularly vulnerable uh, to the air pollution their body and their immune system can get affected particulate matter has a defined size 
if the particulate matter, the particles that are found in the air, the smaller particles, if the size of the particle is smaller than 2.5 micron, they can cause serious health issues and also lead to premature death or mortality. In 2021, 97% of urban population were exposed to the concentration of various concentration of uh, fine particulate matter and they have caused serious health issues in these urban population. Air pollutants include particulate matter, they are proxy indicator of air pollution. There is a strong evidence that the, it has a negative health impact which is caused due to the particulate matter in the air pollution. The major components of particulate matter includes sulphates, nitrates, ammonia, sodium chloride, black carbon, mineral dust and water. Carbon monoxide is also a component of air pollutant. Ozone which is O3 is also a component. Nitrogen dioxide and sulphur dioxide. These are the five major uh, air contaminants. According to World Health Organization, the six of the six contaminants that include into the uh, air pollutants also include carbon monoxide, sulphur dioxide, nitrogen, ozone, particle in matter and lead. Lead is another pollutant that is released to the through the fossil fuel burning by the automobiles. Short and long term exposure to air suspends toxicants that has different toxicological impacts on human respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. They can also cause neuropsychiatric complications, they can cause irritation of eye, skin and have a long term chronic consequences which can lead to cancer. Air pollution is considered to be a major environmental risk in the incidence and progression of some diseases such as asthma, lung cancer, ventricular hypertrophy, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. They, have they can also affect the psychological balance of human, they can cause autism, retinopathy, fetal affect the fetal growth and low birth weight. There are many pollutants that are suspended, uh, they are found to be suspended uh, in, in air speci specifically the dust, fumes, smokes, mists, gaseous pollutants, hydrocarbons, woks which are nothing but volatile organic compounds, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and halogens derivatives. These pollutants basically are known to cause cancer. Particle pollutants are major parts of air pollution. In a simple definition, they are, they are a mixture of particle found in the air. Particle pollution which is more known as PM is linked to pulmonary and cardiac associated diseases and death, morbidity or and mortality. They have varied in size ranging from 2.5 micron to 10 micron in size. These particulates, they, there are various scientific research that have been uh, performed on this and they have found that people can suffer with premature death uh, because of this particulate contaminants. As I mentioned earlier, they can also cause abnormal heartbeat which is called cardiac dysrhythmias non-fetal heart attack, non-fatal heart attack, aggravated asthma and decreased lung functions. Depending on the levels of exposure, particulate pollutants can cause mild to severe illness. Wheezing, cough, dry mouth and limitation in activity during breathing causing breathing problem are most prevalent clinical symptoms that is caused through the air pollution. Here is a diagram which clearly indicates if the particulate matter in the air is of the size more than 10 micron, the particulate matter can reach up till the larynx area in the human body. If the particulate matter size is 5 to 10 micron, 
they can reach to the from larynx to the upper respiratory lung part. If the particulate matter is lesser than 5 micron, they have great potential to reach to the deeper lung and affect the alveolar part of the lung and also cause the lung cancer and other respiratory illness. Here the question might be asked based on the particulate matter size, what can be the reach of the particulate matter in human body and cause uh, diseases in lungs of human. Ground level ozone O3, ozone can be is found not only in the atmosphere, there is also ozone at the ground level. Now the oxygen, the, the, the ozone is referred to O3 is a colorless gas and is a major component of our atmosphere. Ozone is protecting the earth from harmful radiations from the sun. It is found both at the ground level and the higher upper region of atmosphere which is called the troposphere. Ground level oxygen GLO is produced as a result of chemical reaction between the oxides and of nitrogen and the volatile organic compounds Vox, emitted from the natural resources and other human activities. The GLO is believed to have plausible association with increased risk of respiratory disease especially asthma. As a powerful oxidant O3 or ozone accepts electron from other molecules. There is a high level of polyunsaturated fatty acids in the surface fluid lining of the lung or the respiratory tract the, and the cell membrane that underlie the lining too. The double bonded, the double bonds that are available in the fatty acids, in the fatty acids are highly unstable. Ozone specifically attacks these regions and they form ozonides and progress through formation of an unstable zwitterion and then they eventually lead to the breakdown into lipohydro peroxides, aldehydes and hydrogen peroxides. Ozone because of its high reactivity, it can also go and affect the DNA and form DNA damage and cause cell death or cancer. Here is the image which shows ozone acting on proteins forming protein ozonation products like oxidized proteins, aldehydes, free radicals that eventually affect the cellular process. Ozone being an antioxidant, being an oxidant, they go and react with the antioxidants like glutathione, uric acid, ascorbic acid. They further affect the, the phagocytosis or the phagocytic cells, macrophages and also lead to increase the release of pro-inflammatory mediators. Ozones can directly affect the cell by interfering and reacting with the DNA causing DNA damage and causing cell death in some cases causing cancer. Ozone can react with lipids as I mentioned, they specifically target the double bonds in the aliphatic chain of the lipids and leading to lipid ozonation products like ozonides peroxides etc. Carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide is a colorless gas, carbon monoxide is basically released during fossil fuel burning, particularly when combustion is not appropriate as in the burning coal and wood. The affinity of carbon monoxide to hemoglobin is about 250 times more than oxygen. Carbon monoxide has great affinity towards hemoglobin in human blood. Depending on carbon monoxide concentration and the length of exposure, mild to severe poisoning may happen in human. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning may include headache, dizziness, weakness, nausea, vomiting 
and finally loss of consciousness because the hemoglobin to which the oxygen is supposed to go and bind carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide competitively interacts with the hemoglobin thereby decreasing the oxygen uh, distribution throughout the body. The symptoms are very similar to those of other illness specifically the viral infections. It is similar to the viral infection where we have carbon monoxide poisoning. The symptoms looks similar to the viral infection. No human health effects have been observed if the uh, carbon monoxide interacting with hemoglobin which we call it as carboxyhemoglobin level is less than 2 percent. No effect can be observed. But if the levels are more than 40 percent, the effects can be fatal. Upon carbon monoxide contamination, human can suffer with hypoxia that means lowering of oxygen. They can cells can suffer with apoptosis that means programmed cell death and also suffer with ischemia which is blockage of blood vessels due to carbon monoxide toxicity. Here is how the carbon monoxide competitively reacts with the hemoglobin in the RBC causing the carboxy hemoglobin. This leads to carbon monoxide poisoning. Next is sulphur dioxide. Sulphur dioxide is a colorless gas, highly reactive gas which is considered as an important air pollutant. It is mostly emitted from burning of fossil fuel and also through natural volcanic eruption and industrial processes. Sulphur dioxide is very harmful to the life of plant, human and animal affecting their life and health. People with lung disease, children, old people, older people and those who are more ex exposed to sulphur dioxide have higher risk of skin and lung cancer. The major health concerns associated with the exposure to high concentration of sulphur dioxide includes respiratory irritation, respiratory dysfunction, aggravation of cardiovascular diseases. Sulphur dioxide predominantly is absorbed in the upper respiratory tract. Here is the image showing the impacts of sulphur dioxide as we breathe in. They can cause affect, they can affect the respiratory system, they can affect the cardiovascular system of human. As a sensory irritant, it can cause bronchospasm that means the spasm in the, in the lungs and mucus secretion in the human. Residents of industrialized region with people who are living near industrial area, they are exposed to lower, uh, lower to higher concentration of uh, sulphur dioxide. Now when the sulphur dioxide gets deposited in the airways, they specifically get converted into sulphites or bisulphites and thereby get distributed throughout the body and affect human health. Nitrogen oxide, nitrogen oxides are also important. They are ambient air pollutions which may increase the risk of respiratory infections. They are mainly emitted from the automobiles and thus are uh, the, the reasons for causing a traffic related air pollution. These are deep lung irritants. The nitrogen oxides has the ability to reach to the deeper part of the lung and cause edema, the filling or the accumulation of water in the pulmonary or the in the lung. If it has been inhaled at the higher concentration, the water accumulation can be observed in the lung. They are generally less toxic than ozone, but nitrogen dioxide can pose high toxicological problems. Exposure to 2 to 2.2 uh, to 5 uh, ppm parts per million have shown the effect on lymphocytes particularly CD8 cells. This eventually affects the human immune system from defending to the viruses. Although these high level may be uh, affecting the respiratory uh, tract of children in human and also cause respiratory infections. 
This image shows the effect of nitrogen oxides on eye causing irritation in the eye. They can affect the lungs causing edema, emphysema, asthma. They can affect immune system targeting the T lymphocytes, targeting the CD8 cells. They can also cause irritation in nose and throat causing wheezing, coughing and breathing difficulty. They can affect heart causing cardiovascular diseases and also involved in skin irritation causing aging, atopic sensitization, melanogen it affects the melanogenesis and cause erythema which is nothing but the red patches on the skin. Lead poisoning, lead or plumb is toxic heavy metal which is widely used in different industries. Lead pollution may result from both indoor and outdoor sources. It is emitted from the automobiles. Why this reason is the petrol is leaded which is nothing but which has been mixed with the lead tetraethyl. The fetus or the children are highly susceptible to even low concentration of lead in the air. Lead accumulates in the human blood, bone and tissue. <coughs> Sorry, because it is not readily excreted, lead can affect kidney, liver, nervous system and other organs. Here are the sites where lead has major accumulation and toxicity. It can affect the blood brain barrier, it can pass through the blood brain barrier and affect the brain. They can get accumulated in the bones. It can also cause the damage of the soft tissues as they get retained inside the body. Lead also has effect on reproductive system of human causing reproduction, failure in the reproduction. Soil pollution, soil pollutants, exposure root of soil pollution to human. We can get exposed to the soil pollution through inhalation by eating the material that has been grown in the polluted soil or by direct skin contact. When we are eating the dust can be blown away from the soil which is contaminated with the soil pollutants and they can reach our food and we eventually consume the contaminated food. Inhaling indoor dust and vapors that arise through the activities that are happening at the home and also direct contact where we come across the skin that comes in direct contact with the soil and eventually if we consume food without washing, we, come, we consume the pollutants in the soil and affect our internal system. The water vapors can have the, pollute, the soil pollution, the dust can have soil pollution and these, pollution, these soil pollutants can reach human body and cause numerous health hazards. It is a serious environmental concern since it harbors many health hazards, especially the soil pollution. They can have the risk, the benzene that is present in the soil has the risk of causing leukemia, which is blood cancer. It is also important to understand that oil soil contains different compounds which are harmful and toxic to human. The concentration of such compounds in unpolluted soils is measurably low and <clears throat> they do not have much effect on the ecosystem. But when the concentration of these pollutants increase in the soil, they will have health hazards. The main types of soil contaminants include petroleum hydrocarbons which emerge from oil and natural gas agrochemicals which includes pesticides, fungicides, insecticides, herbicides, nematocytes and other uh, uh, metals or the nutrients that we, we put into the agricultural land for protecting the plants and for the plant growth, they event eventually reach the soil. The polycyclics are the organic compounds and the substance of that come out of garbage and fuels that also pollute the soil. Solvents like aromatics, 
the aliphatics and the heterocyclic solvents they can they can reach the soil and contaminate the soil lead is also a potential soil contaminant asbestos is also a potential soil soil contaminant heavy metals from the natural source and the industrial and mining industry and other industrial sources can reach the soil and contaminate the soil here i'm going to briefly cover the the contaminant and the health effect because the topic is focused on health effects arsenic causes cancer especially urinary bladder cancer lung cancer and skin cancer cadmium is another metal contaminant this can cause kidney damage renal tubular dysfunction pulmonary emphysema and thai thai disease breast cancer and also affect endocrine disruptors copper copper is another soil pollutant that can cause childhood copper toxicities then methano global anemia liver and hepatic necrosis lead lead is another contaminant this can cause impairment of nervous system development in children it can also affect the iq of the children it can affect the behavioral disorders it can cause anemia hypertension ren renal injury reproductive organ injury and damage immune system manganese manganese causes neurological disorder it can cause parkinson disease similar to parkinson's it can also cause impotency and sexual dysfunction in human mercury it affects kidney where the kidney weight changes proximal tubule gets damaged and progressive nephropathy and developmental neurotoxicity in embryo and fetuses phthalates phthalates alter adipogenesis and create insulin resistance they can cause liver cancer and testicular atrophy per and polyfluoroalkyl substances they can cause decrease response to the immune system reduced antibody response to vaccination increase cholesterol levels and cardiovascular diseases water pollution mainly concentrated in industrialization agricultural activities natural factors and inefficient water supply and sewage treatments these lead to water pollutions industries are the main cause for causing water pollution the tannery industry the pulp industry the paper industry the distilleries the food industry various industries release toxic chemicals into the water reservoirs various toxic chemicals organic and inorganic substances toxic solvents organic solvents chemicals they are released from the industry they reach the water bodies if these wastes are released into the aquatic ecosystem without adequate treatment they will cause water pollution arsenic cadmium and chromium are vital pollutants of waste in waste water and the significant contributor to this are the industrial uh, outputs with acceleration of urbanization waste water from industrial production has gradually increased in addition water pollution can caused by the industrialization is greatly affected by foreign direct investment secondly water pollution can also be caused by agricultural outlets the pesticides the nitrogen fertilizers the organic farm wastes from the agriculture they also contribute to the water pollution the agricultural activities will contaminate water with nitrates sulfurs the pesticides soil sediments salts and pathogens effects of consuming polluted water according to who over the third of the global population do not have basic sanitation facility and clean drinking water this means water is consumed in a very polluted state they can cause harmful diseases 
to human mainly when there is a biological contaminant they can cause cholera diarrhea dysentery hepatitis a polio typhoid these are water borne diseases caused through biological water contaminants approximately 297000 children under the age of 5 are estimated to lose their life due to consumption of contaminated water hence there is a need of robust monitoring system of water contamination effects of consuming water contaminated with microplastic there is also another term referred to this is nanoplastics the problem of microplastics is relatively recent one uh, it's in comparison with other types of water contamination microplastics or uh, the size less than the size of 5 micron are considered to be microplastics and less than the size of 100 microns are considered to be the nanoplastics they have uh, they get they are released to the breakdown of larger plastic materials and as the larger plastic material breaks down the smaller the nano sized and the micro sized plastic emerge Uh, recent studies have shown that microplastics are also found at the summit of mount everest which shows that the human have human activity has contaminated the highest peak of the globe mm-hmm. microplastics can affect human by causing inflammatory reactions on the skin and other organs they cause oxidative stress to the tissue and metabolic cause metabolic complications e waste is another type of contaminated contamination which is we refer to as pollutants which is recently observed electronic waste contains toxic components that are dangerous to human health such as mercury lead cadmium poly brominated uh, flame uh, retardants barium and lithium they negatively affect human uh, body by ta- specifically affecting brain heart liver kidney skeletal da- uh, tissue damage it can also have considerable effect on uh, nervous system and reproductive system of human body they can lead to causing diseases and birth defects in human to avoid these toxic effects of e waste it is very crucial that e waste has to be recycled or e cycled the growing stream of e waste will only worsen if it is not educated on correct measures of its proper disposal based on this topic the questions that can be expected will be covered here where we we are discussing about air pollution water pollution noise pollution soil pollution e waste among these the questions from the noise pollution which of the following is not a noise pollutant loud speaker is the noise pollutant it's a contributor fertilizer is a soil pollutant and water pollutant it cannot be noise pollution electrical appliances do create noise and fire crackers do create noise so the fertilizer cannot be noise pollution next given below are two statements statement 1 acute health effects are caused due to prolonged exposure to the chemical the second statement chronic health effects occur when individual is exposed to very short period actually the acute health effects are short duration exposure to the pollutants whereas chronic health effects are long term exposure to the pollutants so which of the answer is correct both statement 1 and st- statement 2 are true no both of them are false so the statement b where the statement 1 and statement 2 are false which of the following air pollutant helps in the formation of photochemical smog which is smoke plus fog this is specifically the oxides of nitrogen are the key contributors for the formation of 
the smog, the photochemical smog because oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide are basically found in the smog. Question number 4, in case of which of the following primary pollutants, the man made contribution to the global emission millions of tons per year is more compared to that of natural resources. Which of these are the primary air pollutants that are produced that are man made contributors to the global emission? Sulfur dioxide, it is a natural, it is basically naturally released from the volcanic eruption. Nitric oxide, methane is a minor contributor, nitric oxide is a minor contributor, carbon dioxide is a major contributor. Major contributor due to released by burning of biomass and by burning of fossil fuels. So, the answer is D, carbon dioxide. Here I close, thank you.